Hello, I'm Dr. Lorraine Wolford. I'm the Obstetrical Associate with the Canadian Network for International Surgery. We're here today at the Office of the Canadian Network of International Surgery and I'm here with the volunteers, Milena, Deb and Alida. They make these parts that we use in teaching uh, how to do a cesarean section in Africa. Uh, so, the first thing that we make is the is an abdominal wall, a pretend abdominal wall that they use in this in this C-section box. Can you um, show me the parts that you that you put together and what uh, they are? These are the layers we use to make the abdominal wall. So, a layer of vinyl for the top, the skin. These simulate what? The fat. The fat. <laughs> the fat. The fatty layer. Some of us have more than others. And this, this is the, it's made of canvas. Everything is just simple materials that, that are put together. This is the, the layer that goes over the muscle layer. And this is actually the really strong layer of the abdomen. If you only have one piece of suture and you close someone, the important part isn't the skin. The important part is this layer, the, just as, okay. as you've got it here, because this is the really strong layer. Okay. And then we have two lines of elastic that we place about an inch apart, or three quarters mm -hmm. of an inch. And they represent the muscles that the, well sometimes they call them the straps. Um, and, and you know, if you've really got that like six pack thing going on, uh, those yeah. are those muscles that, yeah. that, that, <laughs> that you see there. And then we place this over top of everything. And so the three, or so all the layers together. So all the layers together around the edge and then put, put snaps. So this is the finished product. Um, and then, and then it snaps on to the C-section practice box right here. Um, that's one thing that we use. Um, then the other thing that we need for the cesarean is the uterus. And can you show me the pieces that you use to make the uterus? Uh, we use a red kind of t-shirt material and it's kind of in the shape of a water bottle. Uh, this top part is wide because we snap it to the outside. And then we put uh, Velcro on the inside at the neck of the quote unquote water or the uterus mm -hmm. to keep the baby in. Mm -hmm. This end is open basically so we can get the baby in. Mm -hmm. So I can plant the baby in here. So you can plant yeah. the baby in and keep it in. Uh, the shoulder pads, I believe, are the, represent the bladder. And they're on, we make it double-sided so that we can make more use of the material. Everything can we be can used twice. Flip it. Mm -hmm. And the same thing for the abdominal wall. When we do one practice cesarean section, uh, so that there's an incision here that's the cesarean's been done and sewn up and everything, and then we can just take it off and turn it around the other way and use it again. And it's the same thing for the, for the uterus too. Once the cesarean's been done and the incision's been closed and everything, then we take it out, put the baby back in again, turn it over, and then it can be used the second time. So each of these things can be used twice. And the students are, they are so thrilled to be able to like use the whole thing and say, yes, I can really cut it. Yeah, <laughs> you can really cut it. That's what we're here to practice on this so that you don't have to practice on the patient, right? Um, and this, this is a, represents the cervix. Sometimes in, in a delivery, there is bleeding that occurs in a vaginal delivery. There's bleeding that occurs afterwards. And so the student looks for the, the potential causes of that, of the bleeding. And one of the causes is a, a cervical laceration, and this is just a simple model of what the cervix would be, and this represents the laceration. Um, and you'll see that there's one inside the, the C-section box here. Um, it, it has to be up inside a little bit, just like it would be in real life, so that the, so that the student gets the experience of having to work up inside the vagina. So for instance, the instruments need to be a little bit longer, and they need to get an assistant to, to help, to open the open the walls of the vagina a little bit so they can see properly. They need to make sure there's a good light so that, those are all the things that we go over at the time, but this is what's used. And then 
um, the student practices putting, or the learner I should say, practices putting the stitch right at the very top because you need to catch that corner. If you don't catch the corner then sometimes the bleeding can continue right at the top there. So they catch that corner. That's why we changed it, you know that, right? Um, because it used to go right up to there and it was yeah. hard for them to put the stitch in the canvas. Oh, okay. So we put that little thing there so then they can see, so they can see well enough. So once this gets sewn, then we, uh, then we just uh, make another incision and it, it can get used like two or three times for sure. These And sometimes even we just take the stitches out and use it again depending on whether we're short or flush. Um, what else do we have here that we've, that we've made? Um, well this is the piece that goes on the end just so that we can use this for not only for the cesarean section part but for the vaginal procedures as well. And then you make these, what is this? <laughs> this is the placenta. <laughs> I found some of this cloth at Dressu and I thought it kind of nicely simulated what an actual placenta looks like. <laughs> nice. Um, and then we make a cord um, and even try to simulate the different blood vessels coming out of it and use Glad Press and Seal on it to kind of give that um, coating. Translucent. Translucent. Yeah. And then the Velcro. Uh, goes, that's why we have large pieces on the inside of the uterus mm -hmm. because normally it's attached to the uterus of the mother. Mm -hmm. It doesn't just fall out. Mm -hmm. And one of, the, one of the exercises that, that we do involves, uh, you can imagine if you just hold that, you can imagine that it's inside there. The, the placenta not coming out properly and then we go over the technique that the, that the learner uses to be able to separate it very, very gently. And the Velcro is a good simulation for what it's like. It doesn't yeah. sound like that. But <laughs> <laughs> and then they, they can practice taking it out. So that's great. Okay, we're going to do some of the exercises. Alita's going to help me. Um, some of the exercises that the learners would do in the course. And the course begins with three practical exercises before there's any discussion. Well, there's always a little bit of discussion and introduction and that kind of thing. But three practical everyday exercises. And one is practicing knot tying. And that is the most important thing you can imagine. You know that it's a, it's a pretty important thing for the surgeon to be able to tie a good knot. So we practice knot tying. And we practice laparotomy technique. Laparotomy just means opening up. Otomy attached to anything means making an opening an opening up. Uh, so we practice making an uh, opening in this abdominal wall, the simulated abdominal wall, and then closing it up with the stitches. Mm -hmm. um, and the other exercise that day, they're all what are the fundamental skills that you need before you really begin with a cesarean. You need to be able to tie a knot, you need to be able to open and close the abdomen no matter what the operation is, and also there's an exercise for practicing sutures and it's, we use a, a goat's foot. We use what kind of material is readily available and goats are, are easy to find and they don't use that, those parts for too much. So we're able to get them and, and then the student will make an incision and then, they, and then they practice stitching and they practice two different kinds of stitch. They practice the kind that, you know, if you've ever had stitches and, and people say, well, how many do you have? Mm -hmm. They have those interrupted stitches and there are two different kinds that they practice. And then they have that kind that's more like what you'd use when you're sewing a hem on a dress, like a running stitch. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and so they practice that. So those are the exercises that they do. So this one that we're going to do now is the laparotomy. And what we do actually in the course is, is do this. We put a balloon inside. <laughs> We blow it up, and so this balloon could represent anything. And again, it doesn't matter what the operation is. Maybe this patient, this pretend patient, has a bowel obstruction, and, and that's why they need the operation. The bowels are obstructed, and they're all filled, and they're, they would be pushing against the abdomen just like this. Maybe it would be the bladder, or maybe it would be a cyst of the ovary. Or there might be just whatever it is that's in there, and you don't want to hurt it on the way in. So we put the balloon there, and we put it pretty full and pretty tense and, and usually somebody gets it and everyone, everybody, everybody has a good laugh. So um, before we begin we've got a list of all the instruments that we need and it's just like any kind of operation like n normally the nurses would would do this ahead of time get out everything that you need for the operation but for our course we're doing it we get out and make sure that we've got everything and I hope I didn't forget anything for this operation. <laughs> so um, this is our patient and I'm going to make an incision here. Now uh, Would you like it, me to for now, just steady it. Um, and then 
I'll be asking you to do some other things as we go along. Okay. So one of the things that we do in the course, you're teaching one person how to do the operation, but you're teaching the other person how to be a good helper, because that's mm -hmm. that is just mm -hmm. as important. And nearly, near as as I was saying with the um, with the cervical laceration, you need a you need a partner. You need somebody to help with with whatever it is. And so the C-section assistant is that's a very mm -hmm. important role. So I'm going to start by making an incision, and I think for this exercise, we'll make the incision this way. We do do two different kinds. So um, you have to press pretty firmly on this fake skin. Oops, I just about hit the balloon on that one. <laughs> so that's, and you know, you try to make the incision one firm, um, one firm line, not to go wiggle, 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 or or or, or like that. You get a you get a better result. One nice firm. Um, so is this swipe. tougher than normal skin? It, it, it depends. There's yeah. difference in people's it's skin. And the very first time that you that you do it, like when you're the young doctor, it's like you're you're so terrified. It's like you. <laughs> 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 but they get used to it pretty quickly. So you need to go all the way. So we want to go through the fat too. And there are some ways in which this isn't exactly like like the model, but you, you learn in the in the exercise. So we need to have some retractors to do the next part and so I'll ask you just to hold these retractors, this just there and there, that's good. Um, and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to incise the, you can come a little closer mm -hmm. if you want to see, this, that, this is the oh, layer that's right. the really, really important layer that I said if you're only going to close one layer, let it be this one. Say you only have one thread, say you've only got one suture. The skin will close itself. You don't even have to do anything to it. It'll close itself, but this is the layer that really needs mm -hmm. to hold. So mm, there are different techniques that people use. Usually you, you mm -hmm. pick up a little bit with your forceps and, and, and make the first incision. And then depending on, on your technique, you might use the, these scissors and open up. And so this is the point at which Mm, it, we're better off if we have something that doesn't have um, sharp ends. So th th these actually aren't too sharp, they're blunt. But if you could put it right in the corner to help me make full use of my incision there. Like this one you can relax. And this one just, wait a sec, I'll just put it right in there. So what you want to do is you want to hold back the fat and the skin. Perfect, just to show. So you want that, that's exactly how the assistant helps, right? So you want to go this way. So that's about as far. You don't want to go any farther than you can see because you have to see to close it, right? And then we're going to go down here. So you would, but you need to stay there. Oh. Maybe just use your other hand and pull it down that way. Or Sure, that's good. And I'm going to make the incision go this way. In real life, the patient would be in the middle and, and we'd be one on either side. Okay. So next, what layer is going to come next? You know because you put this together. The muscles, or no, we're cutting in between the muscles. We're cutting in between the muscles. You're right, but the muscles are the are the layer that's next. Yeah. So, and and actually, you do have to tell people. So I'm I've done this one. The cesarean section will do the other way to show you what it's like. But you can see. Can I take the retractor out? Yeah. You can see that the muscles are right there and there, right. and so they right. get they're going to get right. pushed aside. But what's okay. the okay after the muscles? What comes next? Well, the plastic. The plastic. It's the peritoneum right? The, the peritoneal lining. Okay, so I will ask you to retract for me a little bit, like that, and like that. And I'm going to do what we would normally do, which is lift up a little bit with this. <laughs> it doesn't always behave. You're, we're going to get the balloon, right? So you just need to pick it up with your forceps, which reminds me, we need to make it a little bit looser on the bottom. The plastic? Yeah, oh. to, with a little bit more give. It's okay. good we're doing this, yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> um, because it's, it is hard to pick up. Okay. So I just pulled it a little bit there. And we're going to go up in this direction and down in that direction. But you can see how sometimes people use the knife to go in and then you can see how. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how you can hit that balloon. <laughs> No, Should I have warned you? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then we practice sewing. But I think we'll just practice the sewing on the C-section part because it's the same. 
Did I scare you? <laughs> I'm a very jumpy person. Okay.